I have returned, everybody. Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. I found some liquor. Try some. Gladly. Uh... Oh man, now I gotta get drunk. A stupid idea. What is this note? The cast was done according to the guidelines and the craftsman is already gone for good. Make sure that all the other traces vanish. Nobody should be able... Where would I go? Uh, prove that we are responsible for the forgery or find a connection between me and your superior. You know what to do about the rest. B.S. Take care of the Witcher. Tyler. Fucked up on me, didn't you? Come on. There we go. Oh, it's Laverdon. I have contracts for you! Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Bellarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Bellarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster, or petition the king, uh, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgomeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. No, no, no. I, no. No, no. <laughs> All right. You. Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller, here. Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for <laughs> unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. Merchant's wife, mysterious nobleman. Anna! Hey, I saved your life! Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Merigold and. Geralt Dorivia! I know who stands before me. Look at your hair! We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, Princess. A princess, indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. No. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? I see you still wear the gemstone with the inclusion. The curse. Shut your filthy mouth, mutant. But the curse may yet. Enough! Your Highness, allow me to cast this drifter out. We no longer desire to speak with you. Step away. Well, that worked out excellent. Needs an the minx didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'd be careful. I have the distinct impression she's got her eye on you. Nothing I can't handle. Something nasty lurks behind that innocent face. Yeah, no crap. That monster from the beginning of that opening cutscene. All right, Laverdin. Welcome, indeed. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. 
Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. I think we talked to everyone. You've met everyone yep. who's anyone. I need to speak with Levarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Oh, great. I hear prices will increase. You shall be some if you take out of my sight. Enjoying yourself? Not particularly. Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times, new customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wedges on their arse? I'm a relic, someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Toller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I'm the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade. There will be no room for your neutrality. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Personal. Personal. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. That enough? Got it. Thank you for being candid. Who exactly is DeWitt, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the order, he worries his dick's too small, so he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's an ilf guardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Is Luvarden somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself? I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he heads some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Alright, folks, I'm going to cut the video off here. As always, thank you very much for watching and tuning in to the next episode. Thanks for watching, folks.